So I shared this image with someone recently. It was created in PowerPoint and they were saying, okay, this is pretty cool. I can see how you made this. Like the monitor is a rounded rectangle shape and the stand back here is a trapezoid shape. These are all things that you can get from PowerPoint's, you know, insert shapes menu. But how did you create these jumper cables? How did you make this shape in PowerPoint? There's really no shape that lets you do that. Well, it's really a very simple idea. In PowerPoint 2010, you can draw a shape and then use other shapes to kind of sculpt that original shape by removing bits and pieces of it. So that way the outline or the perimeter ends up looking very different. You end up with exactly the shape that you want and you don't have to draw it with the freehand drawing tool. So the tool that you use for this is, uh, it's new in PowerPoint 2010, it's called Shape Subtract. And another related tool you'll wanna know about is called Shape Union. And we've got another tutorial that shows you how to add those features to your ribbon if you're interested in doing that. In this tutorial, we'll see how those features can be used to create a custom shape like this one. So we're gonna come up to the Insert tab and start by drawing a shape of a rounded rectangle. So we'll add that to our slide. And I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit and then create a duplicate by holding down my Control and Shift key and dragging. And then in my Format tab, I can flip that by using this rotation option of Flip Horizontal, and that's just gonna make a mirror image. And the first shape, I'm going to right click on that and turn it black. I want to use format shape and then change the fill color right here. And then for the line color, I'm going to choose no line. And I really only have to do that to the initial shape that I draw and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, next we're going to add a couple more shapes. We're going to use insert shapes and then add a triangle. And then we'll turn that around and fit that right in with the handle that we just created. And then the next shape, the final shape that we need to draw is a trapezoid. That's going to be the, the clamp part of our jumper cables here and we'll turn this around and then position it right on top of our triangle here. Narrow it down just a little bit like that. Okay, and the next step is we're going to weld these shapes together using that new feature called Shape Union. So I'm going to select the black one and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the other shapes that I drew and up here on my Format tab, I've added that new feature called Shape Union. And when I click on that, what happens is that creates a single shape out of all those shapes that I selected. And it uses the attributes of the first one and applies that to all the rest. And that's why you're seeing that they all turned black. And now we can knock out the parts of the shape that we don't want. So for example, this circular area right here, we can just draw a circle, use insert shapes and then draw a circle onto my slide. Actually, I'm gonna draw two of them. And make the second one a little smaller. And I'm gonna position that right here. This is the part where I wanna you know, knock out the black from my shape. And what I wanna do is select the main shape and then shift click to select the part I wanna remove. And on my format tab, here's the other item that I've added to my toolbar, the shape subtract feature. I'll click on that and it takes that part of the image right out. And I can do a similar thing with the second one right here. Just position this kind of right in the middle there. And then I'm gonna select the jumper cables and then shift click to select the part I wanna remove. And up here, I'm gonna just click on sh uh, shape subtract and that removes that part. And I also drew, if we move over a little bit here, um, several squares. Um, I'm gonna use those to remove um, a part of this middle area here to make it look like the teeth of the clamp. So I'm gonna select all of the squares and then up on my format tab, I'm gonna use the shape union tool to turn them into one shape. I'm gonna stretch them out a little bit here and move them onto my clamp. And I think I need to move them to the front, don't I? So I'm gonna use bring to front so we can see everything. And we'll just stretch this a little bit more so it covers the whole length of the clamp. And now again, we can just select the jumper cables, shift click to select the part that we wanna remove. And then up here on the toolbar, we're gonna to choose shape subtract. So you can see how quickly you can create a very customized looking shape. The union and subtract tools are, um, are really pretty neat. Here are a couple other examples too of stuff that I created using a similar approach. This film strip, very easy to create using um, the same tools that we just looked at to knock out those little squares along the edge of the rectangle. Uh, this piece of paper has the uh, these you know holes that have been removed. Same with the tag down here. Um, that's been you know the, the little hole there has been removed, and the key here has been created entirely with PowerPoint shapes and used um, the union tool to combine these. 
So if you're interested, you can check out our other screencast about how you can add these new PowerPoint 2010 tools to your toolbar.